Hey everybody, it's Thursday, March 26th. I came outside today in my backyard because the weather is so nice. It's been raining so much, I thought I would come outside. And before I read today, I want to let you know that I miss everybody. I miss seeing you at school. I miss seeing you when I'm on duty in the morning. But everyone is going to be okay, and soon we will all be back together again. So today, I chose one of your favorite books and one of my favorite books. And parents, if you have not heard this book, I know it's going to be one of your favorite books too. Today I'm going to read Peanut Butter and Cupcake. Peanut Butter and Cupcake by Terry Border. Peanut Butter got a ball for his birthday. He was kind of bad at kicking the ball with his feet, but he was kind of good at balancing the ball on his head. Still, it wasn't much fun playing with a ball, all by himself. Want to play with me? he asked his mom. They had just moved to town, and Peanut Butter did not have any friends yet. I think you should go outside and find someone to be your new friend, she answered. Peanut Butter liked that idea very much, so off he went. It wasn't long before he saw a someone. Hello, I am new here and I would like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I will make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and hamburger. I'm sorry, said Hamburger, but I am busy walking the dogs. Thanks for asking, though. You're welcome, said Peanut Butter. Maybe next time. And he kept walking. Then he saw Cupcake playing by herself. He thought she looked sweet and might make a good friend. Hello, I am new here and I would like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I will make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and cupcake. I'm building Sprinkle Castle, said Cupcake. You can stay and watch, but don't hit my castle with your ball or I will be mad. Peanut butter did not want to make anyone mad that's okay, Peanut Butter said, and he kept walking. Then he saw Egg rolling down the path. Hello, I am new here and I would like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I will make you chuckle deep down in your belly, and we will go together like Peanut Butter and Egg. Peanut Butter and Egg? That's funny. You're cracking me up, Egg laughed. And then he really did crack. Peanut Butter didn't want the egg to laugh anymore, so he kept walking. He found someone jumping. Hello, I am new here and I would like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I will make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we will go together like peanut butter and meatball. 32, 33, 34, shh, I'm counting my jumps, said meatball. 35, 36, 37, I'm trying to set a record. Peanut butter whispered back, but I have this ball and 38, 39, 40, shh, said meatball. Peanut butter kept walking. Finding a friend was harder than he thought it was going to be. Then Peanut Butter saw another someone sitting under a tree. And that was good because he was ready to sit down too. Even though he was getting tired, he gave it another try. Hello, I am new here. I would like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I will make you chuckle deep down in your belly, and we will go together like peanut butter and french fries. Not right now, said french fries. 
I just remembered. I'm supposed to help Hamburger with his hot dogs, and I need to catch up. Peanut Butter walked up to one more someone who was practicing his ABCs. But before he could open his mouth, Soup picked up a spoon, dipped it into himself, and then showed it to Peanut Butter. In the spoon were the letters N and O. No. But I didn't say anything yet, said Peanut Butter. You didn't have to, said Soup. Oh, said Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter found a bench to sit on. He was almost ready to give up. But as he sat there, so very sad, a new kid walked up to him. Hello, she said. Peanut Butter took a deep breath. Mm, hello. I am new here, and I would like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I will make you chuckle deep down in your belly, and we'll go together like peanut butter and jelly. Sure, I'll be your friend, said Jelly. But could you teach me how to keep the ball on my head? I'm only good with my feet. So they taught each other what they knew and made each other chuckle deep down in their bellies. It wasn't long before their laughing made the other kids come over. They asked if they could play too. Of course, Peanut Butter and Jelly were happy to let them join in. As his new friends knocked the ball around with their feet and their heads, and in one case, his buns, Peanut Butter chuckled deep down in his belly. This book was a book from the book fair about two or three years ago. So once again, I miss seeing everybody. I do love all of y'all, and we are going to get together soon. I will be back on next week for some more books and maybe some puppets. I'll see you then.